And welcome back to Said and Four. I'm your host, Terrence Edwards. We got Daniel Smith, Shanetta Williams, Chanel Flagger, and Brittany Crutchfield. Welcome to the show, guys. Okay. Hey, team. What's going on, guys? Hey. All right. Hey, viewers. So for today's show, we're going to do a movie review. Um, Monster. Oof. Monster. Uh, Steve Harmon is a 17-year-old honor student whose world comes crashing down when he's charged with a felony murder. Chanel, how did you feel about this? You know what? Monster was a deep movie. Now, when I first was like watching, I was like, "This here's another typical story of a black kid getting caught up in the system. Mm. But what I liked about it was Steve came from a middle class family. You know, he lived in a brownstone in a nice neighborhood. So he wasn't like a kid that was influenced by the street. He was raised in a great household. He had a great relationship with his brother. He had a girlfriend. This kid loved art. He was taking random pictures of people on the train. You know, you can tell he really appreciated even in the courtroom when his teacher came to speak on his behalf. Um, the mm. two, the three other thugs that was in there, they didn't have anybody to represent them. So they really had to fend for themselves. And what I really appreciated mm. about the movie was the whole time he's narrating the movie, he's actually narrating as if he's producing his own film. Mm. If you think about it. He's like yeah. literally narrating his own movie in his head why he's actually experiencing what he's going through in reality. So I, I did like that parallelism. I also, some parts I was a little confused about, mainly yeah. towards the end of the bodega, because those two thugs was like, they literally told him, go into that store to see if there's anybody in there, be lookout. Mm -hmm. So they asked him to do it and mm -hmm. he took his bike. And then when he went inside and you see the camera footage from the movie of him kind of looking both ways a little bit, and he was kind of looking around. He grabbed the drink, went to the owner. And the owner was like, are you from here? Like, I know all my customers are come here. And then all of a sudden he's looking like in the sun and the light. And then I guess that's when they came and they got rid of, you know, they, they stuck up the whole bodega. So I was a little confused with, well, he was kind of a part well, of it, but it wasn't like he. Well, that's where the whole idea during the trial where they were like, you put up some type of signal, that. some type of signal mm -hmm. where he was just blocking the sun because it was in his face. So they thought right. that was right. a to the people, to the, to the yes. dude. Um, Daniel? I didn't like it. Mm. I know <laughs> it was deep. It was, it was deep and it had, but I feel like they didn't really develop the story on the aspect of what happened that night until the very end. So like you said, it, it more or less was like, OK, we can't even, you know, throw in any judgment or nothing on this trial because we haven't even been presented with even the story of what happened yet. And they kept saying about this sign. And it's like, well, I can't tell if he did the sign or not because I haven't seen the footage to show if he did the sign. So a lot of it was, you know, I know he was telling the story over and they would tell it afterwards, but I wish they'd have kind of you know, brought us along first and mm -hmm. then we could have been able to have some type of judgment on how it was and how it was going to play out because I couldn't argue with whoever was doing the movie to be like, well, no, he didn't do the sign. But at the right. end, you, you know, you saw you him put his hand out. towards the sun. Then you was like, oh, okay, now I see what they were talking about. But I was like, I don't know what they're referencing. So I can't really get into it. Well, to I think, point. yeah, but you got to look out, but you got to understand the concept of being in the courtroom, right? The jury is the ones that makes the final decision on your sentencing. So when you think about it, when people swear an oath and you know they're gonna tell the truth on God, you gotta understand perception carries more weight than truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So the yeah. reality that's is, yeah. that's, that's the beauty behind it. And I mm -hmm. think I even enjoyed it more because you know I'm a communications major, so I know the thrill of okay. like, you know, in the movie he was hanging out with um, William. King, he was like yeah. one of the, the goons in Harlem. And you know, he was telling him, like, oh, this is look, why you think this dude is always sitting on the porch and mm -hmm. look at this lady on the window. So he was giving Steve a different perspective of his own neighborhood, you know, not that he lived his there, own but reality. Yeah. Yeah. His own yeah, reality. I so I think hard. as a filmmaker, that that intrigues Steve. You know, he's not a kid that wants to be in gangs, you know, he doesn't do drugs, you know, he's really um adamant about his career. He has a stable home, like you said, he's really a, a great kid, but the other part, Daniel, to piggyback off what you're seeing, like Nas, I didn't get Nas's um role yeah. in the movie. Like I was kind of confused with that too, because I'm like, okay, it was so that to cool him in, in jail. I I got it from that point, but I will give big ups to Kelvin Hel Harrison because or uh, Kelvin Harrison Jr. He because he's been versatile this year. He's been doing yeah. a lot of different roles and being able to to accommodate it. So I'll give him that. He acted. Yeah. 
very well in that movie. Yeah. I just yeah. wish that certain certain things that, that they brought on in the plot, it wasn't really as lined out or crafted out as I would have liked to see it. That's why I said I didn't really like it because it took you almost wait until the end of the movie to be like, oh, okay. now I see how everything mm-hmm. okay. So they definitely had an all-star cast. Um, Daniel, like you said, Kelvin was in there, Jennifer Hudson, John Washington, Jarrell Jerome, and ASAP. Mm. Rocky was yeah. in there. So all-star cast. Um, Netta, how do you feel about it? I really liked it. Um, I think that waiting to the end to kind of really address whether he did it or not was a um, choice made purposefully. And it was it was good in a sense because you were it forced you to kind of think of it based on character. Although in a courtroom, you really shouldn't be thinking on, you know, character. It's facts. Right. You know, facts. True or false. But, you know, you found yourself saying well does he deserve to go to jail over it you right know right so that was interesting that it made me feel that or have that viewpoint at toward the end but overall I thought the movie was really good the cast was amazing uh ASAP Racky surprised me um Jeffrey Wright always great and Jennifer really? Hudson always solid yeah I like Jeffrey Wright yeah no 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 why, why you said about ASAP Rocky like you were surprised I didn't know. I don't know, like his other stuff oh. or whatever, as far as acting. Oh, whatever, okay. But yeah. He, well, I thought felt like he was just being himself yeah. too, though. That was very true. Like true. Home, Especially playing home, basketball anyway. in that sweater. I was like, that's so him right there. That's anyway. Like, <laughs> he was himself. Brett? Yeah. Um, I kind of like. I exactly like Chanel said. At first, I was thinking like, okay, like, here go another black movie where a black boy injustice and how the police just taking advantage. But I thoroughly, I did enjoy the movie. I did. I felt like Daniel, how you said how they waited to the end to tell like what truly happened. I enjoyed that because it reminds you of like, like you said, perception is reality, right? Right. And, and really, everybody was right. In their own, because of their own, in their own reality. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. thought this That's was true. a sign with him looking up. They took that as a sign. The exactly. woman pausing right there, the old woman took that as a sign as he was waiting in the doorway of the thing. And that wasn't the case. Every yeah. person in their own mind was right on how exactly. it Exactly. And, and that's so why it was powerful. I, I thought that was, that was a nice twist or that was a nice thought part you know in it mm-hmm. to where it made you feel like okay you know and like I said I rooted for him I was like yo when the teacher came through and mm-hmm. I, I was like yeah, yeah. You told, there you go get your right, right. so I He's was good. so happy because he was a good kid you know right. he was not he was a good kid that came from a two-parent household that were like middle class in New York which is really upper class in other areas <laughs> and so right. like he educated his family was educated he went to one of the top schools in the city so mm-hmm. it wasn't you know your black boy who was just out here on the street out was, in the street exactly yeah he was put into a a, a, a predicament you know that mm-hmm. he wasn't comfortable with and so and like I said it, it just it reminds you of again it's not about what's true it's about perception and even in our own lives it's yep. about perception because it don't matter whether your truth is the truth it's going to be a different truth for somebody else through somebody right. else deep about it and yeah but they I wish they did, did it from the Chicago 7 perspective because like they threw a lot of okay. characters at us but in Chicago 7 they gave us the background kind of of those characters and how they played so a part in knew. a lot of the That's characters exactly. in Monster, it was kind of like okay where, where did this lady even come into play at i didn't see her in it so that's why i was saying i didn't really like it just because those aspects of it where it's like i don't know these characters they didn't really give a plot or a background up to how they came to play in the part of the case until the end and it all was like oh here we go yeah because the whole time of the movie you're thinking like did he do it Nah, he right, didn't do it. right. They come up yeah. with a lot yeah, of stuff that was saying the whole, he did. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's thinking the whole time. I was going to so, ask so, T, like, T, yeah. how you feel about it? Because I know you've right. had experience with this thing. I'm and gonna, that's what I was about know? to say. So, growing up in the Bronx, like, so many times I felt like I was almost Steve Harmon. You know what I mean? Where I had yeah. to choose a path and decide who to be around, who to hang with, and those type of things. Um, never got locked up. Never was on a trial or anything like that. But, <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> thank goodness. But like right. I said, I almost became him a, a few times, you know, just right. trying to pick your friends. So, yeah. Um, did you guys think that he was going to be guilty or did you know all along that was going to be not that guilty? That prosecutor was good. I ain't going to lie. Yes. He, he was, 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 was,
monster. He's a monster to the jury. He's a monster. Not only that, like his ending questions, he'd be like, no further question. You know, he, you know, he always ended it to make the jury, you know, think or have, you know, like. "Mm." I was was going to be not guilty, though, when the prosecutor couldn't hang him up. He got everybody else and showed Mm -hmm. everybody else was guilty. Right, but he couldn't get him. He couldn't get him. So when he couldn't get him and I saw the jury, I'm like, he's not guilty. Mm. Oh, that's dumb because I, I, I didn't think scared. that. I was thinking he's going to be guilty. Scared. I was scared because even though yeah. I, was, I don't know whose character is it, you can see it. Like, we know because we're seeing the whole behind the scenes. I'm like, nah, his character, there's no way this boy did this. But, yo, they're making a lot of points. That's what yeah, right. I'm saying. <laughs> 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 but you know what? Brady, you know oh, I was scared at? It was the part when um he was talking, Steve's character was talking to his prosecutor, the, the um, defense attorney. And in the beginning, I felt like, yo, she's not, she was a public defender. So I felt like she's not going to care about him. Mm-hmm. She's going to think right. he's guilty like anybody else. So to be honest with you, I really thought that he was going to be guilty. And I was like, watch, watch he be guilty. When I said, uh, when they said he's not Carol. guilty, I literally jumped for joy. Mm-hmm. I right. jumped for joy. Oh, thank <laughs> I know. God. Finally. Yeah, that, the, the, his lawyer played the hell out of that role too. Yeah, sure when what? she gave the opening statement, I was like, she she believes he's he's not. Oh guilty. yeah, he believes mm. he jump. She believed it when she went in there to talk yeah. to the prosecutor to you know talk it down and do a plea sentence. Initially, that's what she was going to do, and she, the prosecutor wasn't budging, and so that's when she right. Went and I trial. like when but he talked to her, did. and I liked his relationship with her because he told her he was like, no one in that courtroom knows who I am. Mm-hmm. And I think having that affluence of his father, because, you know, his father was like an architect. So he yes. was a very intuitive. And then him already being in film school and understanding like this whole perception of like, no, I need people to know who I am. You're a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. You want mm-hmm. people to know your story. Mm-hmm. You're telling a story. Right. So I, I just powerful. really like that powerful. component of that. It was his almost like his dad, unsure. Not, his dad didn't his, know. Yeah, you can see that, that part right? scared me okay. too because I'm like, this is your son. Most parents can be like, my son wouldn't have done that. But he was like, always envisioned all of these things for you, mm-hmm. but I never envisioned this. And I was like, wait, are you thinking your son's guilty? So listen, D, what? um, that was a powerful moment <laughs> when the dad said, when you were born, I thought of all the scenes for your life. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so deep that. right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Jennifer Hudson because she was a black mother. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> she came to the to the jailhouse with the Bible. I don't care. Yeah. She <laughs> said, you know, read this. You better I'm say this scripture. <laughs> I'm like, you better go, girl. You know what? You can't be mad. At her. But then at the same time, she was time, like, you're not about to get behind on your studies. Like, she yeah. knew her son was coming home. She knew. She yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew. She knew. She had faith in her son. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Right. And that's what every behind every man is a strong woman. And like I it's said, Jeff did a great job in that role but i was looking at that part i was cringing a little bit because i'm like shorty you can't be doing that at the jail because you're gonna get right. that. You can't be mm-hmm. on the outside so you making him look like he's weak he about to get jumped later mm-hmm. on i mean homie yeah. got All his right. body used to not eating because he didn't want to have to be involved in that mm-hmm. you know he's in a cell with killers and murderers right. and rapists and right. this kid is yeah. like really innocent so when she's bringing out the vibe i'm like lord please don't let the don't let these inmates jump this dude <laughs> Yeah, you saw right. sign of weakness. Yeah, you gonna yeah. get picked on. So I know he was like really uncomfortable. Like, ma, like really, you, not right now. But you know, he can't say right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. So we have to go to say it or don't say it. Um, I'm gonna start with Daniel. Say it or don't say it. And your number. Even though I, I particularly didn't like it, I will say say it uh, okay. because I think it is something that needs to be watched, and then you know, different perspectives can be seen throughout the film. Okay, and your rank, your number for it, one through ten. Uh, I'll give it a seven. Okay, uh, now say it, and I'm gonna give it eight. Ooh, <laughs> Netta. Say it in an eight. Yeah. <laughs> Brett. I'm gonna say say it, and I'm gonna give it a nine because y'all not about to do my do like that. <laughs> Whoa, a nine. <laughs> I'm going to give it a nine because I felt like, again, that perception, like, at the end of the day, everybody was right. I thought that was so cool. How At the end, everybody was right. Like, that was awesome. So, yeah. What would you give Pursuit of Happiness? <laughs> I didn't like Pursuit of Happiness. So. <laughs> what? You didn't like Pursuit of Happiness? That That's was one. Yo, that was one. <laughs> okay. So, what would you give Titanic? Titanic. 
Titanic, now Titanic is up there because that's a good movie for me. So Titanic was like a nine, nine, ten, okay. nine point five. Oh, so Titanic good. is a good movie. I didn't care. Nine I mean, is kind of high for this movie though. For monster. I, I think it's a high. No. I would give it. I would give it a nine. I go to him like that. Damn. For me, of course, say it, and I have to give it a seven. <laughs> Let me add it up. <laughs> <laughs> At least we all say that's Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. I think the movie will do well. Um, it has a good ending. A finally a happy ending. You know. Right. And while still telling, you know, a, a good story, and it has, you know the i won't say it has a white savior <laughs> moment but you know that's what I'm <laughs> so collectively here at our, here at say it in four we have a 7.8 7.8 amongst all of us wow okay. not that too was, bad that's not bad almost that eight. Was, that's not bad almost no. to eight was that higher yeah. than rotten tomatoes because wasn't uh, rotten tomatoes like a I six and a half yeah. i think so what? yeah yeah, they gave it like a six and a half. Yeah. People was complaining about that. They didn't because some people was confused about the part when the two goons held his bike. Because people mm-hmm. was like, well, how did he get his bike back? Like people was trying to figure out more information about yeah. it. Like, oh. Yeah. That's what I was saying. They didn't really paint the whole picture. It was a good movie, but they didn't really give us a deeper dive I, into everything. I feel like they left it ambiguous on purpose. Kind of kind of like yeah. exception when the thing still was spinning at the end and you had to try to figure out is he still in the dream is he awake right. you know type right. of thing yeah that's that's what i felt all right <laughs> final words anything to close it out we got two minutes <laughs> less than a minute <laughs> <laughs> check it out check it out check watch it the out. film on Great netflix cast. monster